Sierra Leone have already pulled off one of the shocks of AFCON 2021, keeping out tournament favourites and 2019 winners Algeria and coming away with a nil-nil draw, putting themselves in a good position to progress through Group E to the knockout stages. Realistically, just requiring a win over Equatorial Guinea in order to finish as one of the strongest third place sides, at a minimum really. But how did they do it? And hold on a second, is that Stephen Corker? Anyway, how is it that a side ranked 108 in the current FIFA World Rankings were able to pull off such a fantastic result? Well, back in 2017, Sierra Leone very nearly qualified for the African Cup of Nations held in Gabon, finishing just one point behind group winners Ivory Coast. This is partly due to a defeat to Sudan in their first game of qualifiers, and they weren't able to be one of the top second place sides either, as they only had a three-team group, so couldn't get enough points on the board. Now, in 2018, the Sierra Leone Football Association was suspended by FIFA and so banned them from the 2019 African Cup of Nations, which, as we've already said, Algeria ultimately went on to win. But in 2021, the incredible fans, incredible fans of Sierra Leone got what they wanted as the team qualified for their third ever AFCON and first since 1996 after a dramatic final game win over 83rd ranked side Benin saw them progress as runners up on goal difference by just one goal to so the most dramatic of fashions. The group stage draw then for Sierra Leone, both a tough one and a brilliant one. Algeria, as we know, current holders. Equatorial Guinea, a similar side in terms of quality. And Ivory Coast, who of course pipped them to AFCON back in 2017. So who are these brave warriors then of Sierra Leone who have been through thick and thin to reach these dizzy heights? Well, one of my favourite things about this side is just how many players represent sides in the Sierra Leone National Premier League, with almost half of the squad playing domestically in the country, something quite rare now for the African Cup of Nations. The players making all the headlines at the moment, in particular, of course, the goalkeeper Mohamed Kamara, who plays for East End Lions in Sierra Leone and was awarded Man of the Match for his brilliant shift against Algeria, a truly fantastic performance. In addition to this, they boast talented players from across Europe, most famously Kai Kamara, who scored over 100 goals in the MLS and is just one goal away internationally from being Sierra Leone's all-time top scorer at the ripe old age of 37. Still out there, it's fantastic to see. But the squad does have real, real talent. Al Haji Kamara of Randers, five goals in seven caps, top striker. Osman Kai Kai of QPR in the championship captain and all-time cap leader Omaru Bangura who represents the Swiss side Nushatal and of course as we've mentioned Stephen Corker who's represented Team GB at the Olympics, England in a friendly, he was then eligible to play for Scotland but now will finally have the international football that he's worked so hard for for the national side of his paternal grandparents and he's often provided a lot of charity support in, um, in Sierra Leone as well so it's fantastic to see him at AFCON making his debut for the side. All of this talent and togetherness is harnessed by former Sierra Leone international John Keister, who made over 400 career appearances domestically and will be looking to write himself into the history books with a strong African Cup of Nations. So how far do I think they can go? Well, it depends partly on the Ivory Coast Equatorial Guinea game, but I would love to see this momentum continued. Match day two is on Sunday, the 16th of January against the Ivory Coast. One point would be magical, but the key game really is beating Equatorial Guinea on the 20th of January to hopefully secure a place in the knockout stages for the first time in their history. I think it's doable and we would love to see it. Come on, Sierra Leone. We wish them all the best. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button and feel free to check out our other videos on AFCON so far or any football from around the world. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.